What is the role of potassium in the body? About 98% of the body's potassium is found inside cells, with the remainder in the extracellular fluid including the blood. This concentration gradient is maintained principally by the sodium-potassium pump. Potassium is essential for many body functions, including muscle and nerve activity. And it is excreted through the kidneys, so if something wrong with the kidneys, it's going to affect the potassium. Its normal level in the body is 3.5 to 5 milliequivalents per liter. If there is too much potassium in the blood, this is called hyperkalemia, and that would be over 5.5 milliequivalents per liter. Typically this results in no symptoms. Occasionally when severe it results in muscle pain, muscle weakness, or numbness. Irritability and anxiety. Palpitations and dysrhythmias, irregular heart rhythm, so it can be detected on an electrocardiogram. It may also cause a decrease in blood pressure. And abdominal cramping and diarrhea, and decreased urine output. Hyperventilation may indicate a compensatory response to metabolic acidosis, which is one of the possible causes of hyperkalemia. This case may be also caused if someone is already taking high amount of potassium supplement, or it may be caused when potassium excretion is affected by kidney failure. Common causes also include hypoaldosteronism and rhabdomyolysis. And a number of medications can also cause high blood potassium, including spironolactone non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. The severity is divided into mild, 5.5 to 5.9, moderate, 6 to 6.4, and severe, greater than 6.5 milliequivalents per liter. For the treatment of this case, several agents are used to transiently lower potassium levels. The choice depends on the degree and cause of the hyperkalemia, and other aspects of the person's condition. On the other hand, if there is too little potassium in the blood, this is called hypokalemia. Mildly low levels do not typically cause symptoms. But with serum potassium concentrations of 2.5 to 3 milliequivalents per liter, may cause muscle weakness, myalgia, tremor, and muscle cramps decreased intestinal motility and constipation. It increases the risk of an abnormal heart rhythm, which is often too slow, and can cause cardiac arrest. With more severe hypokalemia, flaccid paralysis and hyporeflexia may result. Causes of hypokalemia include vomiting, diarrhea, and medications like furosemide and steroids. It may be also caused by dialysis diabetes insipidus, hyperaldosteronism, hypomagnesemia, and not enough intake in the diet. It is classified as severe when levels are less than 2.5 milliequivalents per liter. Low levels may also be suspected based on an electrocardiogram. Treatment including addressing the cause, such as improving the diet, treating diarrhea, or stopping an offending medication. So again the normal potassium level is 3.5 to 5. If it's too high, 6.5, this case is hyperkalemia. And if it's too low, 2.5, this case is hypokalemia, and both cases are life-threatening. So potassium level should be monitored, especially with digitalis, diuretics and intravenous fluids.